Hi, I'm uh, Adriano Paracciani and I live in Rome, Italy. During LCL, I started to build what I call Scarabots. The name comes from Scarabocchi, that is the Italian for scribbles, and Scarabots are homemade robots that make scribbles. Uh, the feature that makes them so fascinating is that they are made with recovered materials such as cans of tuna, used CD, paper clips, plastic pipes, piece of packaging and so on. At the end of LCL1 last year, Maria Beatrice and me have had the chance to put into practice what we had learned. For the first time in Rome has been organized by us a thinkering lab during a public event. It has been a real challenge because we had never done before. Uh, during this event we have held several workshops for making scarabots from zero. We had the great success we didn't expect. I can say, for example, that some scarabots on a couple of tables full of materials and tools available for creating your robots hacked like a big magnet where young people are immediately attracted to. Um, it has been a fantastic experience and the first opportunity to apply the important concept that makes tinkering different from do-it-yourself and tinkering different from the maker's movement. Uh, the main difference is about the use of instructions. Following the core concept of tinkering, I have not provided any detailed instructions, but only showed them some Scarabot's samples, explained how the circuit works and some ways to build connections from battery to the engine. Then I said, well, now it's your turn. Let yourself be inspired by the materials you have available, by the scarabots you see here and try to create your own with no fear of mistakes or fail. We are here to experiment. So, try and have fun. It was really amazing to see, for instance, the satisfaction on Gloria's face, a 13 years old girl who made a working scarabot. She discovered she was able to build something she thought impossible before. <laughs> In October, in Rome, there was the first European edition of Maker Fair. I have presented a Scarabot Thinkering Lab along with Maria Beatrice and her husband Luca, who collaborated with me during the four days event. It has been an, an incredible experience. Hundreds of people of all ages attended our thinkering stand, fascinated by the scarabots and by the idea to try to build one by themselves. Girls, boys, kids, adults, teachers, educators, many have come to the stand to know about what those strange machines were, to touch them, to put them in motion, asking for a lot of questions about how to build them or how to have a workshop in their school. The real discovery has been uh, realized that thinkering is uh, indeed a learning model. I mean, an amazing way uh, to, to deeply learn different concepts from science to art.